know somebody that knows what they're doing, they need to suffer every day. You gotta make it for you. What is it? Are we just the value? Okay, we're gonna charge. Uh, no, no. We're gonna charge two six S, two P packs, total of twelve S two P, by direct connection to two twelve volt batteries in series. We already got the batteries connected in series, and now we connect the, uh, the power wire. We use an um, eighteen gauge zip cord, cheap stuff, uh, about thirteen and a half feet of it to drop down the charging current to a manageable level and um, the airplane, the 82 inch Ryan airplane use, flies normally with a 12S 2P pack but once we pull the uh, the safety switches each battery becomes isolated so now you have two 6S 2P packs and we're going to charge each one individually in parallel the two packs, uh, each pack has its own individual charging uh, output, input, and we're going to connect the first one, right off the uh, 23 amp charge current, because the battery must be very discharged, we're going to connect the other one, Eighteen and a half amps, 16.9 amps. The current is already dropping on this one because it's already took a charge. You must have discharged it very deeply the last time, Sam. And it's charging away. Oh, the timer. I forgot about the timer. I think it probably take about 20 minutes to fully charge. Total charging is uh, 350, 360 watts on one side, 360 watts on two sides, so that's a 720 watt total charge. There's no charger on the market that can handle that kind of power. So what's the indication that the batteries are fully charged? On the current stuff. There's no more water flow. The two tanks... Oh. Jeff over here is asking the question, when do you know the battery is charged? Well, uh, it cannot be overcharged because uh, the, two, the two batteries have uh, just uh, only go up to a certain voltage. So is the current dropping as we speak? The current is dropping as we speak and eventually it will drop down to zero and when, that's when they're fully charged. That's how you know. Yeah, it goes. Probably takes about 20 minutes. You, can, you don't need the timers. You can also use just a timer. Let it charge for 20, 30 minutes and it's done. The wires will get warm. You want to feel the wire? Yeah, the wire is warm. It is doing its job. This one's warm, all right. So effectively, we have a 13 and a half foot long resistor. You can also, you know, use a ring nervous to just make it real hot. See, if it was electric, it wouldn't have a dead stick. <laughs> well, it could have a dead stick. It okay, it's been charging for three minutes. Uh, current seems to have stabilized around 16 and a half amps. Did you get that? Current has stabilized around 16 amps for most... No, it's going to be around that for most of the charge. Uh, each pack in the airplane is a 2P pack, so each pack is seeing uh, 7 amps, uh, you know, 8 amps per cell, which is probably low, so we're not really abusing the A1 to 3 cells. And you ask, uh, why don't we go higher curves? We, we could, but it would probably destroy the 12 volt batteries. It's already drawing 32 amps out of the 12 volt batteries. And I think that's what they're ready for. It's uh, 300 watts on one side and uh, 300 watts on the other side. So total charge power is 600 watts. It's doing this in the halfway phase. It's doing the bulk of the charging now.
Yeah, yeah, come over here, see how fast it goes. Wow, look at that. Okay, uh, are you recording? Yeah. At the 10 minute mark, apparently uh, it's reaching full charge because the current is dropping very fast. It's already down to 5.7 amps. I guess Sam did not really fire out the full time the last time. And it's charged about 2800 milliamps into the battery. Total capacity is 4600. It won't, it won't, not sure why, it won't be hot now, they can't just drop down anyway. Wait a minute. Keep dropping, 4.2, 4.1 4 amps. Yeah, it's about Charge current is dropping to 0.6 amps. One thing we were talking about is um, when do you stop the charge? Well, when, when it was at uh, 1.5 amps, you have put in uh, 1,956 milliamps. It's now 0.6 amps and it's put in uh, 3,030 milliamps. So about 80 more milliamps. Probably for waiting what? Uh, four or five minutes? So that last four or five minutes, you know, you probably you don't have to worry about it. You know? So when do you call a charge? Right to say. So the last, the last four or five minutes. Go. Cool. Okay, uh, current has dropped to 0.4 and 0.25 amps. Sam wants to call it done. Within 3,050 uh, 3, milliamps, and 1 and 2,900 on the other pack. So pretty much done at 41 minutes.